Good morning, folks. We've got a look back at the 2022 Starlink satellite loss today and two cosmic studies that further reveal how little they actually understand about the universe. Of course, we are starting with the space weather in the last 24 hours on our star. We had more M-class solar flares, including the beginning of eruptions from the incoming sunspots just south of the equator and which are facing Earth today. We have been waiting for multiple CME impacts in the first one, which was supposed to hit last night, either missed or is a very faint signature in the solar wind. Did not produce geomagnetic activity as the magnetic polarity of that little blip caused it to be deflected by our field instead of coupled. The next one is expected in the next few hours, and so we'll be watching both the solar wind and the sunspots for more. Another study here looks back to the 2022 solar storm that took out the Starlink satellites and determines the parts of the thermosphere where the satellites were lost during the launch had significant increases in particle density, electric particle density. This not only increased drag on the satellites but provided an extra electrified environment that proved too much for the technology to reach orbit. Surprise, surprise, here a metallicity study of distant galaxies reveals they have less than 25% of the heavier metals than expected. It breaks from the observational data of galaxies much closer to us and the astronomers currently have no clue what happened or why this is the case. Lastly, folks, since their best dark matter candidate failed, they have moved on to looking for axions, which by the way are nearly the total opposite in character as their previous best guess, but the latest search has continued the decades-long failure to find dark matter. When they talk about limits or constraints, it means they looked and didn't find anything. As usual, it has been over a decade, thousands of searches, and billions of tax dollars since we said they would never find what they're looking for, and they haven't. We greatly appreciate your support. Eyes on the solar wind for those impacts and the sunspots for more flares. We'll do this all again tomorrow. Right here, but right now at 6.30 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.